Hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel and uh, as you all know that Flutter is one of the best frameworks when it comes to developer experience and to be honest I was an Android developer and I couldn't like the experience that much because when I used to see web developers then their experience was kind of much better than what we used to get with Android although I can say that it has been improved but flutter has been very fast from the start even the things like hot reload hot restart works pretty well but there is always one thing like once you start your application for the first time and because of the gradle um it sometimes takes a lot more than what we expect right and let's let's say if what if we disable hot reload or hot restart then it will be again a pain but there is a new thing which i'm gonna talk about and uh, we will talk about how we can improve that experience how we can increase the um like it, how we can reduce the time which which it takes to actually build an application and it can be done using this new feature which i'm going to talk about and which is like um, you might never even heard of it and it's it's not even announced yet but yes i found it and i found it to be very useful so that's why this video i'm making and uh, if you're already excited then subscribe right now to the channel and also press the bell icon to get future updates so that you cannot miss these kind of stuff which can be a very you can say tips and tricks kind of things so yes um, be ready with that and right now i am using one of my projects for demonstration so that i can show you when you are dealing with big projects then how much time it can generally take so right now i am here in the terminal with my project and before doing anything else what i'm gonna do i'm gonna just say flutter clean so that uh, it can clean all the workspaces and the entire build folder so that we can see the exact results which we want to see i mean we can see that how much time it generally takes before uh, like making the build from the scratch so now if i'll just clear it and then i'm gonna just run using flutter run okay and uh, and it will run on my this device and let's see how much time it generally takes so it will show me some warnings and let's see how much time it takes and i'm not gonna delete this part of the video just because i actually want to show you that how it works and okay we have missed something i guess in the code okay there is some error in the code obviously there is an error okay now let's go back here and do it again so that the error can go away and uh, let's see how much time it takes and guys there are a lot of things which are like you know nobody knows because they are either in development or it's something which nobody even like anytime thought about so i'm gonna talk about all those things also in the upcoming video so please be updated press the bell icon right now so that you can um get updates whenever i publish a video and also there is a series i'm working on uh, an, enti an entire series on flutter and i'll start with the hindi tutorials and as you can see it took around 36 seconds 36.5 seconds in assembling all of this and then 6.8 seconds in building this particular application okay and i'm gonna show you one more time that how it's working and see so it was some kind of like uh, if you have seen already then 40 seconds or something and i'm gonna do it again just that we can understand that it's working like how we expected so i'm gonna clean it again and i'm gonna run it one more time so that you can understand the difference um so i'm gonna just say flutter run and i'm gonna just uh remove this application from the stack so that we can get the best details um and uh, again it's running so i was talking about my course so i'm working on a course i'm making a course which will be in hindi for the time being and then i'll see what how it goes because i personally feel there are a lot of people who wants to learn flutter but because of their language constraint they feel much more comfortable in hindi so that's why i'm making that course also there's a lot of things coming for others as well this time you will see it took around 30 seconds 29.8 seconds and 6.5 seconds again for installing that application and which is pretty cool right now i'm gonna just uh leave it like this and this is the third time i am running flutter run not clean 
but I'm just gonna show you how much time type or uh, how much time it takes to uh, rerun it in the second try you will see it took 6.1 seconds right to run this application and then some um, more time and then this is the last time I'm gonna do it but just to show you the best uh, way how much time it is actually taking I'm gonna do one more last time this is the last for sure and this time it took 3.5 seconds okay this is all done but what if i tell you that we can even increase this speed even more so how we will do it so we are gonna use something called fast start okay this is an upcoming feature for sure and uh, it's it might be not available on your stable channel so it may be available in beta channel or i am using the dev channel right now as you can see it's flutter 1.14.1 .1. this is the fast start and i'm gonna tell you the what is the difference between normal flutter run and flutter run fast start so i'm gonna run flutter clean this time and if you remember um earlier it took us around 40 to 45 seconds for the first run when we ran it using flutter clean so i'm just gonna clean it again everything is cleaned and this time i'm gonna run flutter run dash dash fast dash start okay and let's see how much time it takes this time so it's launching gradle task and uh, assembling my debug build and this time let's see how how much time it takes and i think it's already little fast and after that also i'm gonna show you what is the difference and uh, for the second time how much time it's gonna take so as you can see this time it took around 24 seconds kind of and this time you will see this app is only meant to be run under the flutter debugger I've, i'm gonna explain you what does does it mean but let's see if it's gonna take one more second to launch the application and yeah it works pretty good okay and i'm gonna just clean this up and yes so now i'm gonna rerun it and this time so as you already saw that it was fast and this time let's do it one more time and let's see how much time it takes and 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 as you can see it took 4.9 seconds okay which is better than what we were getting there but every time you will run fast start you will see this app is only meant to be run under the flutter debugger and if you are using a good device guys then it will not even take that this much time and uh, let's let let's run one more time and let's see how much time it takes then and this time so as you can see 4.9 seconds this time it took 2.9 seconds and uh, you can see the experience right and I'm running it from the scratch even if I will do some changes then also it will work fine I'm gonna cross it I'm gonna just uh, go out just remove the app from the stack let's do some changes let's do something like this I'm gonna go here let's do some changes and uh, let's go back here and I'm gonna run flutter run fast start again and this time let's see how much time it takes because I have done some change and it's, it's it just took three seconds it's like normal hot restart but it's happening and it's happening for good and uh, yes you can see the app is only meant to be run under the flutter debugger so what is the difference between this and the normal debug which we do so the difference is that once you are running this then the application you will only be able to use when you are actually using your application in development let's say now if i have removed this application i cannot use this application anymore so if i try and if i go here if i try to click this application then it will not work why because uh, the application will only run with while your debugger is on and that is the difference but yes it's very fast and it can be very helpful for developer experience as you can see the application is not running because it will never run and uh, that's the only constraint but that is fine because uh, even uh, in normal debugging mode it is using virtual machines not that fast so obviously that's that's one of the reasons now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna run flutter clean again and this time what i'm gonna show you 
I'm gonna show you one more time that uh, how fast it is and one more trick so that you can subscribe to the channel for sure and uh, this time I'm gonna run it on my pixel device so that we can see other experience as well so I'm gonna just use my pixel and okay this time I'm gonna connect my pixel okay this time I am here on my pixel and then we are gonna see how better it looks on pixel and as you as you have seen already that uh, I have already cleaned it and this time I'm gonna say flutter run fast start and let's see how much time it takes for the last time and then I'm gonna show you one more trick okay just be aware and every time you have seen that there is one applic when one screen which comes which is kind of my home screen but this time what I'm gonna do after this particular command is I'm gonna show you how to go to a specific route using your command line only you don't have to change your code and you can see this time it took 23.8 seconds which is again very lesser than what you usually get with um, normal debugging your application so you can see this app is again only meant to be run under the flutter debugger it's damn fast to be honest and you can see this is working fine and uh, now I'm gonna just go back I'm gonna run this application one more time and then the final time we are gonna see how that works 5.3 seconds yes so that is the beauty guys so this is all what you can do and now I'm gonna show you how to launch your application and it, for a specific route okay so let's go back to this and uh, now if you want let's say I want to go to my ad wallet screen so how I can go there oh, oh that's very bad okay so if I want to go to my ad wallet screen I can run something like flutter run fast start route is equal to and the route name and the route name is slash add wallet so if I run this command then you will see something again interesting oh so route okay it's saying that this command was not found for some reason and let's try this thing with this and this time let's try okay that's dash route and let's see if that works this time three seconds and I'm using different phone this time right I'm not using the same phone just wanted to show you what is the difference and again the same screen and this only works when you are actually attached to the debugger otherwise it won't run again I'm saying the same thing but this time it will launch a different route as you can see so this is another um, trick or trip you can say if you don't know about it so yes this is again a second thing so fast start is definitely something which I'm looking forward this is still in development and this is, is still something which is um, not even announced but one more thing is that guys this does not work with iOS device and not all the Android device. this works like mostly with um, the all, all the latest Android devices um, which are like uh, two generations back like I, 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 I guess it's it works in most of the Android devices but it does not work with iOS so far and uh, I don't know what's their future plan with that but yes this is something which you can try and it definitely improves the developer experience because I'm using it from last two days and it's working quite good so that's about this video guys I know it took so long just to see the results so if you want to skip that uh, part of the video then you can definitely do but I wanted to show you what it can do uh, what you can do with all these commands so thanks for watching and i i hope i'll see you in the next video bye bye take care and keep fluttering